What's up, Troy? What's up, Jerry? <laughs> happy Friday. Yeah, baby. Happy Friday to you, man. Good to see you. I always love my Friday nights. Kicking off the weekend with you. Let's get into it, man, because I've, I've, quite frankly, to, to sum it up, I've had a great time with this vape this week. I really enjoyed I, it. So yeah. I have too. And this is this is relevant. I mean, this this vape came out in like fucking 1997 or 1999 or something yeah. like that. It's yeah. It's been around for 24 years. And like, I think they've been making small updates to it like mechanically when as they figure out like oh here's a better way to connect this power to this but right. for the most part fundamentally the vapor brothers vape has been exactly the same for 20 years right Agreed. yeah like it, has, it hasn't changed significant enough to ever be a, a different model number like <laughs> over over 20 years right. it's always been the vapor brothers now all of a sudden it's the 1.5 no, you're right, dude. Like this vaporizer has been around longer than I've even thought about vaporizing. They've been doing it a long ass fucking time. Um, it's a it's a fucking OG classic, quite frankly. And the new one looks just like it from the outside. So um, I was surprised how small it was. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, and Troy has uh, that one. I'm going to hang on. Don't don't move, Troy. I'm going to show you mine as well. I've got the darker one and I've decided that I like Troy's better. So he, we're going to show his off. So anyhow, um, Jerry likes my wood better than his own. Yeah, Troy's wood is sweet tonight. Um, the front and back panels are really neat here. I love the grain on the front and back panels uh, with that. But there's the knob. Uh, Troy's got it at noon, which means he's ambivalent right now about whether he's going to do herbs or concentrates. Uh, we'll get into that later. And uh, yeah, there's the back panel. Love that. Dude, that's just really sweet with the with the the side panels with the plywood layers and or the wood layers. And then that, that thing on the... I just fucking love the look of that, babe, bro. That's nice. Yeah, it's cool. And the way it, way it glows and lights up. Yeah. It, look, it, it really looks pretty good. It looks pretty good on the desk. Yeah, dude. That's that's pretty dope. I do like the look of that thing. I'm surprised at how small it is. Every like I I, I had an original Vapor Brothers. They sent me one ages ago. I liked it. It worked great. And uh, I loaned it out to somebody and never saw it again. He loved it and just kept it. Uh, <laughs> and it was it was one of those. It was the lighter ones like that. And and, and every time I use that or this one here. I'm just surprised at the size. They're really kind of small. The footprint's small. Uh, we were sent uh, a, a water, a whip adapter to go into water. Yeah, it was the whip for me. I, quite frankly, I'd forgotten how much I like a good whip vape. Uh, my first vape ever was an extreme. And then after that, the Silver Surfer. And I actually really enjoyed using the whip again. I don't like fucking with whips when I have to put them away, uh, even though I have a room dedicated to this shit. But um, other than that, I've really enjoyed it. And and what I really liked about it, Troy, is, yeah, I used the whip. But what I really got into was I started to use this Viper they have, the all glass mouthpiece. Okay. And now the footprint's ridiculous because this just this just literally just can just sit next to it any way you want. I mean, it doesn't take up any extra room. You know, I mean, look at that right there. That's that took up no extra room at all. And I really enjoy using this thing. I didn't I didn't think I was going to, but I like it. So now no, I've, I've I've enjoyed uh, the whip the water was going to be the last thing i did and i liked that glass viper thing so much that i didn't even get to the glass i'd get to the water yet so i didn't even try the the glass mouthpiece thing what do you call it, the viper the they call it the viper and it looks like it looks like a snake head i get it because the way the way this little device works is there's there's two glass ends and they're both basically the the same size and then the screen oh, just like sits in the middle and the glass and holds this the screen against the little rubber lip in there or silicone yeah so you can either take the mesh screen which i prefer or the ceramic screen ceramic screen clogs quicker reduces airflow but has the purity of ceramic so i use Whereas, both oh you put them both in there okay gotcha i had neither in here because i was using it with the ceramic extract stone that they have in there whatever that rocky thing is and okay. I was like, well, I don't need a screen in there. That's just going to get the screen dirty. So I was rocking without it. But normally, if you're going to do flour with this thing, which I'm not, I'm going to do flour out of the traditional whip and extract out of this. You would put a screen right in there and put this in on top of it. And then this sucker connects onto your whip, or in my case, the uh, the Viper here. We just go. Da -da. Um, this is some kind of high temp silicone stuff. There's about yay much of it that's probably in the vapor path um i didn't notice anything i thought i thought the system worked well at first i didn't really care for this i thought it was kind of tacky but you know right. what? it works it, it you have something to hold on to that doesn't get hot 
So True. it's kind of a double feature. It makes cleaning the screen without cleaning all the glass possible, which is a, another bonus because a lot of times the, the glass down here, you're going to get, you're going to get like a uh, wand hash and reclaim in here that you might want to harvest and actually vape because mm -hmm. it's pretty potent shit. It's fantastic. This little system allows you to take this off and clean the bowl and clean those screens without sacrificing this because with the SSV and the SSV 43, you got that whole wand. If you want to clean the whole thing out, you, you basically fill it with alcohol and the whole thing is alcohol tainted. I just loaded, loaded a little bowl. It, it holds about one, not completely full old head scoop. It's a, it's a pretty small bowl. It doesn't hold, it doesn't hold a lot. Uh, I think you can put more in it, but since, since the device is angled <clears throat> upwards, you have to like angle your bowl downwards mm -hmm, to, right. to put it on. So you, you end up having to, to pack your bowl at least a little bit. So I've mm -hmm. been using this this brush to kind of like oh, just nice. light, lightly tamp it. I don't want to like smash it, but I want it tamped yeah. enough to where it doesn't fall out. Yeah, and if, and if your weed's a little dry and still wants to roll out, you can start your draw just before you attach it and kind of suck it up. And you kind of, you know, as you put it on, and then you'll be able to keep it up into the bowl as it, until it gets stuck into itself. Oh, dude, that was great to be able to see it beforehand and, and then afterwards just like that. Pretty good hit. I mean, right? tasty. Tastes like ball vapor. You know, it's heavy convection. Nice thorough extraction. Potent, tasty. I think I get like two hits per bowl. You know, one hit, stir up, stir it, and clean it. Yeah, that's about what I get too as well. I mean, two hits is probably all I need, which is good. I mean, the whole point of these ball vapes is to extract quicker and it does it. You know, with yeah. the old original Vapor, Vapor Brothers, you'd have been in there for probably three to five hits and a lot of stirs and stuff like that. And you'd be inhaling I, slow, like riding a unicycle. You'd be taking like the, the long, slow draws versus the, me hitting that was me hitting it as hard and fast as I could. Right. This is their... Um, their mini thin glass wand, which is tapered to, to hold up to the joint uh, or to the to the heat exchanger. This one slides on and it's hands free. This one you hold in place. And this one I like to fill, you know, somewhere around about halfway and tamp it down a little bit. So, yeah. So you, those asking in the chat, uh, we're not doing a ball mod. This the, the manufacturer updated. They updated the vaporizer to already have balls in it so check it out they're putting balls inside there now so it's a little little different than the other ball vapes uh the four millimeter quartz they're rolling out um as their standard unit for um people who want to do flower and herb and flower is typically less than noon and and, and uh and or flower and concentrate and then concentrate is above noon on the dial they're gonna come out with pretty quickly here, um, one that has uh, three millimeter ceramic balls. And that one's gonna be more for concentrates. It also is a little more restricted airflow. So it, it really actually builds and dumps the heat real well for the concentrates. So this one that we have is more for flower and concentrates, which of course is what I want, but they've got they've got more options coming out there. They're, they're uh, 400 bucks. So they're not, uh, they're not cheap, but they're not, uh, they're not crazy either. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's not, it's not a crazy price. And for someone who is already familiar with the Vapor Brothers and the Vapor Brothers format, I think it's a fucking no brainer, to be honest. Um, this is great for people who don't want to deal with glass or bubblers and really love whips or want whips or like Troy said, if you're, if you're a Vapor Brothers user and fan, dude, you, you will absolutely, if you have a Vapor Brothers now and you love it and you use it, upgrade. fantastic. Go get this <laughs> and shelve the old one. Trust me. It'll blow your mind. Yeah, it's cool. I think it's cool. Oh, yeah. The Vapor Brothers added balls, man. I I think it's cool. I, like like you, I, I don't know that I I'd, I'd find anything in particular that stands out. Like, oh, this one has the best blah 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 of anything. You know what I mean? I think it's a really good performer across all the measurements. And all I can really say is that I've really enjoyed it because this right here, you either pick it up and just hold it for a bit, or in my case, it's perfectly set up to. Just approach and let go like that um 
I typically try to melt the concentrate in a little bit first, because uh, again, we're on an angle. So the first hit's kind of critical there. All right, I'm gonna take this third hit. I'm gonna see how this third hit goes. Oh now. yeah, let's see if we get this that. Is, this done. is the test. I'm gonna lean into this one while you do that. Yeah, Choo Choo, I pulled out um, a bunch of my old whips to see what's compatible with this and nothing was like all the dyna i mean um the titanium whips they're not compatible i mean they, they kind of made up to it a little bit but they don't really fit that well uh the, the seven floor ones didn't either but when i grabbed that really old seven floor whip dude it was like sticky on the outside like i mean i definitely never bothered to clean that thing all right so the third hit it was sour and it was also flat so like it, it started with a, a flat cloud you know like some, sometimes you just vape all the turps away but you still have mm -hmm. vapor production yeah it started like that and then it ended on a sour note so i would probably still skip the third hit unless i was looking for a more sedative effect and just yep. do two hits on the big bowl just like the small bowl two hits it just looks uneven as shit on, on the first and second hit come up with that on that oh yeah that's a nice derb there jer but are you going into water with it yes i'm gonna load this bowl. it's narrow it's a it's it's a narrow little little bowl so i can see how it tunnels or if it tunnels hmm. all right here comes the bomb cheers man happy 420 that's cheers uh, four 20. minutes late for <laughs> Mm. Nice. Got a um, nice that even. Nice and even. I was able to rotate it like a basically a half turn. Wonderful. I'm not doing any rotation and I'm look at this. It Perfectly just keeps hitting. Even. A little darker, a little darker. I haven't even stirred this yet. No rotation, no stir, just a very light pack. Got plenty of distance from the heat on 11 o'clock. And this is incredibly tasty. And it, because I'm I'm so on, on such a light load, it's not like those overwhelming ball hits, but the flavor is overwhelming. You know, the vapor is kind of light for, for this, but it, oh, the flavor was phenomenal down there. Let me come back to you here. Just so you can get a good look at the baked in my eyes. Uh, can you see it? Yeah, man. The baked in my eyes, man. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. Mm. Oh. 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 Damn, that was good. That was pretty nice. All right, here we go. You guys are dope. I lost oh, my stir stick. Hit the I'll button, do, uh, bro. Uh, See you okay, next yeah. Friday. Thanks, for, guys. Thanks for bye, doing bye. it.